In this video, I will talk about the impedance parameters or Z parameters of a two port network. The impedance parameters are not used quite often, but we have to understand the Z parameters to understand the basic of two port network. See, this is the schematic of a two port network. This side of the two port network is known as input port or port one. This side of the two port network is known as output port or port 2. To understand the Z parameters or any other parameters of two port network, you have to understand the convention of indicating voltages and currents in a two port network. We indicate this terminal as 1, this terminal as 1 prime. We indicate the input voltage of two port network by indicating plus here and minus here and V1 is the input voltage. This is port 2 and this is 2 prime. We indicate the output voltage by indicating plus here and minus here and the output voltage is V2. And the input current I1 will be entering to the 2 port network and the output current I2 will also be entering to the 2 port network. We calculate the impedance across any element by using this formula. Impedance is the ratio of phasor voltage to phasor current. So we can say that the Z parameters of a two port network are based on voltage to current ratio and the impedance parameters are obtained by expressing the voltages at two ports that means the input port voltage V1 and output port voltage V2 in terms of the port currents that means in terms of input port current I1 and output port current I2 that means the input port voltage V1 and output voltage or output port voltage V2 will be dependent variables. And the input port current or input current I1 and I2 will be independent variable. And the voltage input port voltage V1 will be the function of input current I1 and output current I2 and the output voltage V2 will also be the function of input port current I1 output port current I2 so input port voltage V1 will be a function of input current I1 and output current I2 and the output voltage V2 will be the function of input port current I1 and output port current I2. In equational form we can write it like this V1 will be equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2. Let's say this is our equation number 1 and output voltage V2 can be written as Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2. Let's say this is our equation number 2. We can express equation 1 and equation 2 in matrix form. And we can write it like this voltage matrix V1 V2 is the product of impedance matrix Z11, Z12, Z21, Z22, Z2 and current matrix I1, I2. In brief we can write it like this voltage matrix 
is the product of impedance matrix Z and current matrix I. Now the question is what is this Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. See if I set I2 is equal to 0. From equation number 1 we can write it like this Z11 equal to V1 by I1. when i2 is equal to 0 and from equation number 2 we can write it like this z21 is equal to v2 by i1 when i2 is equal to 0 or if i set i1 is equal to 0 when i1 will be equal to 0 from equation number 1 i can write Z12 is equal to V1 by I2 that will occur when I1 is equal to 0 and from equation number 2 I can write it like this Z22 will be equal to V2 by I2 when I1 is equal to 0 now the question is that when this i1 or i2 will be equal to 0 when the output port will be open i2 will be equal to 0 when this port 1 or input port will be open i1 will be equal to 0 in that case we can calculate z11 by taking the ratio of v1 and i1 and z21 by taking the ratio of v2 i1 z12 by taking the ratio of v1 i2 and by taking the ratio of v2 and i2 we can calculate z Two, two. Now, what is the name of this Z11, Z21, Z12 and Z22? These are the impedance parameters of the two port network. Z11 is the ratio of V1, I1 when I2 is equal to 0 and it is the impedance seen looking at port 1 when port 2 is open or open circuit driving point impedance what does that mean this indicates that if i keep this port 2 open or if i replace this port 2 with an open circuit and if i look at port 1 1 prime we will get z11 See impedance seen looking into port 1 when port 2 is open circuit. Okay. Z21 is the ratio of V2 I1 when I2 is equal to 0. This also indicates that output port will be open. And if I take the output voltage to input current ratio, I will get the Z21. And it is a transfer impedance or open circuit forward impedance. What is Z12? It is the ratio of V1 I2 when I1 is equal to 0. It is known as transfer impedance or open circuit output impedance. If our primary side or input side is open, I1 will be equal to 0. And if I take the V1 by I2 ratio, I will get Z12. And Z22 is the impedance seen looking into port 2 when port 1 is open. And it is the ratio of V2 by I2. What does that mean? This indicates that if I look at port 2 by keeping this port 1 open, the total impedance of this network or two port network will be Z22 and we will get that Z22 by taking the ratio of V2 and I2 when I1 will be equal to 0. Now let me show you how do we determine Z11, Z21, Z12 and Z22 from a two port network. Another thing for a reciprocal and symmetrical network, symmetrical that means if I divide this network into two portion, if I get the same thing or symmetrical in both sides, Z11 will be equal to Z22, Z21 will be equal to Z12. 
Now I will show you how do we determine the impedance parameters of a two port network. Now consider the first case. We will connect a voltage source of V1 at the input port. As a result, we will get input current I1 that will be entering at the two port network and we will leave the output port open or port to open circuit. In case of open circuit, it is possible to get voltage. Therefore, the output port voltage will have a voltage of V2. As the output port is open, therefore, we will get output current I2, which will be equal to zero. There is no current flow in the open circuit. Now, if we set this condition, we can calculate Z11, which is equal to V1 by I1 when I2 is equal to zero. If I connect a voltage source of V1 here, as a result, if I get a current I1, if I take the ratio of supplied voltage to the input current, when I2 will be equal to zero, that means the secondary will be open or output will be open, then I can calculate Z11. What is Z21? Z21 is the ratio of V2 by I1 when I2 is equal to zero. If I supply a voltage V1 here, as a result, we get input current I1 and leave the secondary or output port open. We will get output voltage V2. If I take the ratio of this V2 and I1, I will get Z21 when I2 will be equal to zero. Now consider the second case. In that case, we will leave the input port open. Therefore, it is possible to get voltage at this port. How? If I connect a supply voltage V2 at the output side, as a result, we get a output current I2. As the input side is open, therefore the input current I1 should be equal to zero. Now, if I take the ratio of this open circuit output voltage V1 and the input current I2, I will get Z12. Z22 is equal to V2 by I2. That means if I supply a voltage V2 at the output, as a result, we get a current I2. If I take the ratio of V2 and I2, when the input port will be open, which will result I1 is equal to zero, I will get Z22. Now, what will be the equivalent circuit of a two port network in terms of impedance or Z parameters? See, in case of input side, we will get input voltage V1 equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2. And in case of output side, we will get V2 equal to Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2. Here, the voltage in equation number one, V1 will indicate input voltage. The parameter Z11 I1 will indicate voltage drop across Z11 due to I1 and the parameter Z12 I2 will indicate a current dependent voltage source. whose value will be Z12 I2. So in the input side, we can represent the equivalent circuit like this. Z11 will be a impedance parameter and this I1 will be flowing through it. So Z11 I1 will indicate this portion and we will indicate Z12 I2 with a current dependent voltage source. See, this is a dependent voltage source, which is 
totally depending on the output current I2 and this V1 will be the sum of I1 Z1 plus this current dependent voltage source. So this side will indicate or this portion of the circuit will indicate the equivalent circuit of the input portion. Now look at the output equation. Here the voltage V2 is the output voltage. The first portion Z21 I1 will indicate a current dependent voltage source whose value will be Z21 I1 and this Z22 I2 will indicate voltage drop across impedance Z22 due to current I2. So output portion is consisting of two components. One is this current dependent voltage source Z21 I1 and this I1 is the current that is flowing in the input side. Okay, And this Z22 I2 will indicate a voltage drop. So output voltage V2 will be the sum of I to Z2 and this current dependent voltage source and you have to remember that when I am calculating V1 this I2 is the current that is flowing in the output side that's why we indicate this Z12 I2 as a current dependent voltage source because this I2 is not flowing in the input side and when we indicate this Z21 I1 with a current dependent voltage source this I1 is the current that is flowing in the input side okay so this will be the complete equivalent circuit of two port network in terms of the impedance or jet parameters that's it thank you